Welcome to this week's episode. We're missing triggers. And we're commanding all battlefields. Going first from the CEDH Distort is Mage, playing Magda. Leading her troops with consistency and precision, this combo deck operates like a well-oiled military machine using treasure generators like Dockside, along with Clock of Omens, and with an artifact dwarf at her side, Magda executes precise combos to secure triumph on the battlefield. It's me, Tim, and this week from the second position, I'm playing the big dog, Tivit, Seller of Secrets. I'm looking to get this nimble sphinx out ASAP and pressure the board with his abilities, hoping to pop off with Time Sieve. If all fails, I have other lines, Adasa and Holebreaker. And guess what? Tivit's a 6-6 flyer with Ward 3. Going third, also from Discord, is Flay, playing Tim Jeska. Their mission? To swiftly unleash the power of Adnaz, fueling an arsenal of infinite mana combos into Jeska. With Timna's card draw and Jeska's sniping ability, their forces remain formidable at every turn. I'm Kirk, going last, playing Kenrit, the Return King. Adapting to the immediate format threats, I've made some changes to the deck, going all in on the mid-range strategy, as I removed Adnos in favor of the Displacer Kitten combo with Teferi to go along with the King's loyal troops, Dockside and Thassa's Oracle. If you enjoy this content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, remember, remember your triggers. Any pregames? Nope. Okay, good luck, have fun, I'll start. This is going to be a really <sighs> weird turn one. Uh, we're gonna go Misha's workshop. We're gonna we're gonna play Soul Ring. We're gonna play Liquid Metal Torque. Uh huh. Uh, so that's three, and then we're gonna pass the turn. All right, land for turn. I'm gonna play a Mana Confluence. Mm -hmm. Follow that. I'm gonna play a Mox Opal. Then I'm going to tap my Mana Confluent to take a damage. Um, tap for black and play a Dark Ritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. With two of the black from Dark Ritual, okay. I'm going to play a Arcane Signet. Then I'm going to use the last black from Dark Ritual and the Arcane Signet to play a Talisman of Hierarchy. Wow, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good turn one. Yep, pretty good. Uh, explosive turn one right cool. there. I'm going to pass the turn. Two cards in hand. Draw for turn. Uh, plateau. Jeweled Lotus. Yep. I'll cast Timna. Pass on Timna. Pass on Timna. Pass turn. Yeah, three left. Oh. He's out of orchard. I'll tap it for red. Or Ragavan. Ragavan's good. Yes. And then I will pass. Cool. Untap. Draw. Uh, Bloodstain Mire. We're going to tap the workshop for three. Soul Ring for two. Uh, to hard cast a Sky Sovereign. It's a 6 5 uh, vehicle. Uh, when it comes into play, it deals 3 damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls, uh, and it crews. Oh, shit. So I'm out of this game. Yep, pass on it. Okay, it's going to shoot 10 now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then <laughs> I would like to uh, crack a Blistane Mire or a Mountain, if you don't mind. Uh, and then I'll just cast Magda. Yep. If that's good, I'll look for a mountain and I'll pass my turn. I will untap all of my beautiful artifacts. And then I will play a land for turn, which is a shocked in watery grave. I will then tap the watery grave to play a mana vault. The hits keep coming. That's a lot of mana. Oh, damn. Yep. And then I will tap the mana vault, the talisman of hierarchy, the mox opal, and the arcane signet, taking one damage to cast. You know it, Tivit. Yep. Yeah, Tivit's good. On ETB, I will be giving myself clues. What would you like? 
Oh, I'm giving him treasure with a BDS one card. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. All right. I'll give you another clip. All right, actually, if you, I'll then just, I'll, let's just all give him clues. Yeah, we'll all give him clues. <laughs> yeah, 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 clues. Then after all that, I'm just going to ship the turn over. Let's have draw, cast an insolent neonate. What is that? Uh, it's a one mana creature with menace. I can discard a card, sack it, and draw a card. Okay. I will discard Wish Claw Talisman. Sack this, draw a card. Sure. Um, I'll play this Blood Crypt, Pain to Life, untapped. We did what we meant to do. I have two cards. I now have two mana. Pass the turn. Yeah. Two mana is pretty good. <laughs> no, it's trash. I'm just trying to comfort you. <laughs> yeah. Scrubland, land for turn. I mean, it's, you yeah. know. Under the combat. To a play. Yep. You get a Dragon's Rage champ. Ooh. And a treasure. And a treasure. Uh, that'll stay in exile. Uh, tap for two mana. For a Phantasmal image. Oh, that's hot. Give it all around. Uh, this Phantasmal image good. I'll pass on it. I would like a Tibbet. All right. I will vote for. What do I do? Two? I do two of these? I'll do two treasures. So I'll go up to three. Uh, I'll vote for a clue. I have five. Yeah, clue. Three, uh, three clues. Three treasures, three clues. All right, I will use one of the treasures and cast a Birds of Paradise. Mm -hmm. And then I will use another clue, cast an Imperial Seal. Yep. So let's do that. I'll lose two. The card on top. Looking real scary, boys. Not looking good for the home team. I'm going to put my card on top and I'll be done. I was half the turn. Okay. End step. I'll just crew for a treasure. On top. Um, Magda has only power two. Right. Sky Sovereign says crew three. But he's just crewing it. It doesn't make it. It won't make it a creature. It won't make it a creature. I'll still just tap the creature. Oh, you can still crew it. Oh, okay, cool. Draw. Oh man, how are we gonna how are we gonna do this, boys? I guess we're gonna start with six mana. Start with a God Pharaoh statue. Ah. Uh. What's that? Things cost extra? Uh, everything costs two more. <laughs> All not my spells. Um, but you guys have treasures. You, you got nothing to worry about. All right, this card's on top. Uh, second spell, I would like to play this here. Enslaved Dwarf. A dwarf? Yep. Uh, he's a slave dwarf. Uh, I can sack him. Uh, to have target black creature gain plus one, plus zero, and first strike. So, uh, in, in other words, not much. It's a dwarf. He's a, it's just a dwarf. Of, part of the plan. Part of the plan. Uh, I would like to crew uh, Sky Sovereign, making two treasures. And if that's good, I would like to move to combat. Yep. Uh, I'm going to send... Six over at oh, this has six over at ten. And then on attack, I'm gonna attempt to target uh Kurt's uh Tibbet. I would not pay for ward, but it'll still die. Yep. 
And then with that, I'll hmm, I'll pass the turn, and everyone take one damage. Oh, I will untap everything to set Meta Vault and take a damage and draw a card. I will use the Arcane Signet and Mox Opal to crack a clue and draw a card. Yeah. Yep. I will tap Watery Grave and the Talisman and take a damage to crack a clue and draw a card again. And now I will go to combat and I will send Tivit over at Magda for six in the air. I would like to declare no block. This time for the Tivit trigger, I will opt for treasures. I'll give you a treasure. Um, we might want to give him clues since that because he's stuck. He, he he has three clues that he can't crack, whereas the treasures he can actually use. He can at, as a god of a statue. I'd like him to have mana to interact. Oh, cool, cool, cool. If that's the case, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. Give I mean, I'm out of this game, so my best chance is that my opponents can stop each other. Fair enough. I'll give I'll give him a clue. So he'll give you. So Flay gives you a treasure. I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue too. I feel like you need to draw more cards. And now I will crack two treasures to crack a clue and draw a card. Mm-hmm. Here I will play an Aaron Mesa for land, crack it, uh, take a damage, mm-hmm. and immediately fetch for a Tundra and pass the turn. Cool, sure. One tap, draw, city grass, pass. One tap, up, keep, draw a card. Um, I will go to combat. Yep. Uh, two at Timna. Take two. You get a land. I got a land. All right, I'll make a treasure. Uh, I'll use the treasures. A four mana Neoform sacrificing Raggy Man. That's pretty good. I'll pass on the four mana Neoform. Pass. It'll be a dock side. Sorry, ETB, uh, ETB on the stack. Uh, okay. Tim, talk to me here. Uh, if you were to crack the treasure and one clue, uh, sorry, you can actually crack. Yeah, you can crack one clue. Uh, that will take him down two artifacts. And then if I were to crack my three treasures, uh, that will take him down five. Would you be interested in that? Yep, that makes sense to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yep, so ETB on the stack, I will just float three red. Okay. So you get you get four for me. So it's eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven's still a lot better than sixteen. Yeah, he he only needs not. Uh, he's got it. I'm gonna cast an Emil the Blessed. Yeah. Seven, I... So go to five. Yeah, he does have it. Oh, what? Kirk, what are you doing? Uh, cost. I I was at eleven. But yeah. Everything yeah. Was two extra. Right. So it cost six. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, 
it costs two extra. I wasn't thinking about that. You were one minute short from just doing it with Kenrith, huh? Uh, well, I'm just gonna make. I'm gonna try to make. Well, infinite he's gonna make infinite treasures, and then cast Kenrith, and then do the tricks. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, pass, I'll have... pass on. I'll pass on the meal. Might be. Yep. All right. Uh, hey, you, yeah, uh, uh, go to two yeah. liquor. Yeah, you got it. Make infinite mana, cast Kenrith. Make you guys draw your decks. Yeah, that'll do it. Good game. 